Hi guys, it's uh, Ryan here again to uh, bring you another video. This is the the one, the final one of the three Batmans I got from Batman v Superman, and that is the standard Batman from Batman v Superman. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll kick it off now. Uh, just before we start, as well, this may upload a little bit later, but if it does on time or whatever, or if it's tomorrow in your time or wherever you are in the world just want to say happy halloween hope you have a great time stay safe and stay happy uh and yeah so now we will jump into the figure okay so this is the box we'll start with the box um i've got the sideshow exclusive which comes with the sniper rifle so that's why we've got the uh the exclusive stamp on there and i'll give you a closer look at the box I actually think this is my favourite box of the lot. Oh, now I'm not that bothered about boxes, as you know, uh, if you have seen any more of my videos, but I quite like this box. It's just nice. It's simplistic, but it's nice. It represents, again, the suit, this detailing in there, and it's just really clean. And this one hasn't got any damages or anything on it, because this one came straight from Sideshow, so uh, yeah, it was well looked after, which is nice. So it's just a nice bonus. Uh, but you've got, you know, the a few images from the film. There, just a few scenes. The figure is captured amazingly, you know. Uh, but the side again, MMS, 342, Batman, one six scale, collectible figure. And you got the back again, which is just the same as your other stuff. And then the top is that. Just your Batman symbol again, and then we'll crack it open. And there's another picture of Batman on the inside. Uh, there, and the names here of all the talented people behind this figure. And just close a look. It's quite a dark picture. So that's that, and then we'll pop this off here, and you've got the box the inside now, it's just come off with this. So you've got this, which has got all of the accessories inside, it's a lot of accessories, it's freaking awesome. Uh, so that's that, and then obviously you've got the main bit where... The figure is housed, so you'll have the figure in there, obviously. Stand again in there. There's the instructions. That's the thing to remove the eyes, if I'm correct. I think it's the eyes. That's one pops out. You've got the, the, other, the, the eyes there, you've got the mouth, and yeah. So that's basically it. So I guess you can move on to the accessories now. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, all the accessories that comes with the figure. So I'll give you a quick run through. Um, we'll start over here. So this is the thing that pops out uh, the eyes, I'm pretty sure. And that, I haven't popped out the eyes or anything like that yet because uh, I'm quite happy with just a straightforward look at the moment. But um, yeah, I'll just sort of give you a look. Uh, then we've got the eyes. Which, um, yeah, these look very similar to the other eyes of it, you know, um, I, I don't know what the big difference is, I don't know if they're just not as intense, a bit more relaxed, but, um, yes, yeah, so there's those ones, these are the ones that I noticed the most, is these ones. And it's the just eyes turning to the side. So that's cool. And I think it's, you know, I think people will probably prefer these to the pairs. It's, I guess it's entirely up to you, but, you know. Uh, so the hands, you got these relaxed hands. You know, so. Detail on those. Really nice. You can even see like that sort of leather look to them. You got the 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 gold knuckles. You got you know just coming apart and that, which is awesome. And yeah, so that's that. So you got those two. 
you've got these which look um I don't know exactly what these are, right? these hands. I don't know if they're for... You. Well, I think you can hold the sniper rifle as a bit of that. I think for that as well. They're the more trigger-looking hands. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that one's a little bit more like a trigger hand. Uh, and the same with that one. So you sort of got them, you know, holding... If you're right-handed, like that, you know... They're detailed, and these ones I think are. Well, I think this one's for the branding hand, and this one is for batarang holding. So is that, and then I'll bring you up to the batarangs. So you got the batarangs here, which are really nicely detailed. And one thing I really like about these batarangs is not one is the exact same. There are slight differences between them, and that's pretty accurate to the film as well because they were all handmade, so they weren't couldn't come out as identical. You know, like as say like the Bale films where they look pretty similar. You can see the differences there, and again, just with these ones and the detailing on them is really nice. Got that nice shine to them. So that's them. And I'll move on to the got the little branding thing where he brandies his bitches. Motherfuckers like, you know, criminals and that, you know, brand them. It's awesome. Um Yeah, and it's got detail on it, looks like, you know, it's been heated up a few times. And yeah, it's just very nice. So, yeah. And again, you've got the grenade launcher. Again, the kryptonite grenade launcher, as I like to call it. And again, same details as what you've seen before. Really nice. And that pops back and goes in. Comes with the two grenades again. Two little ones, you've got the activated one and the standard looking one. And then it also comes with these, but I don't think these are too... No, they look more like... They're to the grapnel gun, actually, sorry. You've got those little grapnel gun things there. I think they're just to push them to make it look like it's just fired out of the grapnel gun. But they were like next to these, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um... And you, you've got the grapnel gun itself, which is really, really nice. I really like this design of the grapnel gun from the film. Don't know why, I just really like it. Like the wood, like the wood handle and that wooden handle, and you know it's just nice. So let's try and get it in focus for you. Almost. There we go. Yeah, it's nice. Nicely detailed. And then what comes with it as well, which is really, really cool. you got those other two bits I just showed you, but you got this one. That looks like it's just fired out. Which is really, really cool. And then you have this one. There's like the long one, which is like if he's, you know, it's gone the distance now. He's about to uh, cling to something and grapple away. Check that. Just be careful, I think. Don't try not to break those. <laughs> and then you have this one, which is just the, I think it's just the standard one. And I think, yeah, they all fit in. Yeah, you can pop it, pop it in like that. If you want, I think. Yeah. Yeah, don't want to fiddle with it too much yet. And so there's that. And then, last but not least, oh, it's popped out. Is the sniper rifle, which comes, this is the exclusive. 
So got your magazine there with your bullet inside. You can pop that in. That actually pulls back as well, so that goes in. And yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah. That comes out a little bit easy, so I think I'm gonna have to like maybe blue tack it in or something like that. Um for now. But yeah, it's really, really nice. The scope there. Uh, scope from the front. And also, which I really like, is this. It's actually got the spring. You know, and it's got the tripod, whatever it is, you know, where you put it down and get ready to snipe. Yeah, it's, yeah, so not the tripod, but, you know, the uh, legs, or whatever you call them, Call of Duty fans, you'll know what it is. It's not the, um, but, yeah, really nice. And that's pretty much it as far as accessories go with these. So yeah, so it's just all of these is what you get with it. Okay, so I guess we can move on to the figure itself. Oh, and just one quick thing, just nearly forgot, I don't know how I missed them, but use this a quick look at the, uh, the mouthpieces as well for Affleck. So, very nicely detailed. So you got that one. And that one. So yeah, so that's that. Okay, now we'll move on to the figure itself. Okay, so now we're on to the figure itself and ha, <laughs> love it. It's uh, Batfleck. Ah, oh, I just freaking love this. I think this is my favourite figure of the three. And I love all of them, but this is my favourite. Um, just for everything. I mean, look at the bulkiness of his arms. His arms are huge. Let's turn him. Look at that. Look, look at... Ugh, just... I think they've got the physique, you know, accurate to the film. In my opinion. I just think it looks great. He's got bigger arms. Way bigger arms than the... Nightmare, and the reason is the Nightmare can get away with it because it's wearing a jacket, but this, for me, that's perfect to the film. His muscles are that big. And what Affleck tended to do in the film, especially for photographs as well, he moved his arms in like that, and, you know, he's got awesome big arms like that. So he looks awesome. And even if you turn them side on, I mean, look how chunky they are. I mean, it's like that there. Look like at chunky as massive arms. And again, there. It's a big, big, chunky arms. So there's that. I'll give you a little zoom in on the details now. So here we go. So you've got the suit. Actually, I'll bring you up to the top first. So let's get that off. <laughs> and. Okay. So there you go, so you've got the head sculpt, which is just amazing. And you've got the mouthpiece on that there, which is just super detailed. It's just awesome. So you can just, it's the swap out system, it's pretty much the same as, uh, you know any other especially like the nightmare and that anyway uh and then i'm pretty sure to swap the eyes out you have to pop the head off and go in from underneath if i'm correct i could be wrong i'm not going to try and do that this time because i'm just quite happy with how it is at the moment uh plus uh with time and everything but uh yeah so that's that and i'll bring you down to the Chest. So you got all this detail here, and there's the battle damage on the, you know the, on the chest. It's awesome. The detailing in the suit. It's even got like a uh, squidgy feeling to it, just because it's 
you know, muscle on that, which is awesome. And if you come down, you've got the belt. Which looks fantastic. And bring you down again. You got the legs, all the detail. And now look at this. The, the muscle definition in the legs is amazing. In fact, the muscle definition all over is just amazing on this figure. And they need the leg, the boots. Which again, they've got that nice gold uh, finish on them. The boots are actually two pieces as well. You've got this one and then this. But you wouldn't tell. Again. Because uh, it's just that well, you know, put together. It's really cool. And I'll bring it up again. Oh, look at these arms, eh? So, you just look at the size of them, man. Oh, my God. It's got huge arms. I stood this next to the uh, Christian Bale, and he just he's just every way. And I've even seen photographs of him next to the Arkham Batman, which is huge, and he dwarfs him as well in muscle mass and everything. It's crazy. Crazy amount of just muscle and detail. It's just great. Look at that. That's one big-ass arm, you know? And then if you turn it around like that, and around the back... You look at it, it's got like that thick, solid arm there. You know, see, look at that, you know, like solid muscle on his arms. It's just absolutely insane. So, for me, the muscle definition and that, I have it's just come out looking amazing. Just they've captured it perfectly from the film, in my opinion. Um, again, just massive arms. Look at the size of those motherfuckers. Look at that. Just muscly as hell. Super muscly. And you've got the gauntlets again. Be really nice. Some really nice details on that. Uh, be careful with these, though. They're quite sharp, these. Believe it or not. Um, so yeah, just be careful. When handling it, and turn you around to the other side. So again, you got all the details on there. It's just awesome. And then what we'll do is I'll bring you up, put it into focus. I'll take you down the back. Now with the cape, some people said they didn't like the cape originally uh, and said it was cheap. I don't actually agree. I really like the cape. Um, I think it really does look the part. I mean, it's even got like weathering on it and that. I mean, you can see like it's being used on there. They've put like all these effects in there. It just looks really nice. It's like cleaner towards the insides and then on the outside a bit more battle worn in that um but i have no issue with the cape um especially when it comes to what hot toys have done in the past for capes this is definitely one of the better ones hands down um i think this and the armor have got two cracking capes on for what you you know you get and um the only one that's it looks decent when it's on the figure but it's a pain in the ass to put on, and it still isn't the best as the 1-6 scale Bale Batman cape. That's just not nowhere near as nice. But yeah, I don't really have any issues with the cape on this. Uh, and yeah, so I'll bring you down. And you've got the dirt. And look at that, you know, you've got all the dirt like in the film. Which is really nice. Really done a good job with that. Yeah, and the one thing I always f try and f f you know make sure because it's important with Batman is can his cape you know come out like a bat and it can you know it's got that very you know Batman style so when he glides down and that you know 
uh, which is cool. Uh, so, and, and because you've got all these sort of sections here, you can make it sit nicely. Um, and I think if you're having trouble, you could use like a Mezco technique and get some like, I don't know, tabs and just pop them on the inside of the, um, of the cape. And that might add a little bit more weight to the cape, you know, like a bit for people who are having trouble. But for me, I'm good so far. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, and yeah, looks all very nice. So I'll try and uh, get him into some poses in a bit. Um, but before I do, I'm just going to say straight off the bat, the articulation is really good on this. You know, you've got a good range of articulation. Um, you know, it's got really good bend in the arms and that. You've got the rotation like that. You know, um, he has got ab crunch as well, even. Uh, which is crazy. It's ratchet joints as well, which is quite cool. Um, and there's just a lot of um, cool things, you know, about this figure. It's just, I think as an all-round figure, it's just fantastic. Um, but, you know, you've, you've got, you know, like that, you know, articulation-wise, which is awesome. You can pull it back, so you can go straight up and down. You can bend that, you know, all the way. Articulation wise, this figure is fantastic. So you got all that there and the feet. It's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you can turn the cowl like that, so. And then you can make it sit more natural on his head, which is nice. And, you know, just great, just great articulation wise. And you're gonna get a lot of nice uh, poses out of it. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, very awesome. Anyway, we'll uh, do a couple poses for it and then we'll uh, wrap it up. Okay, so I've just got him in his first pose. Um, I'm actually really chuffed, chuffed with this. Uh, this is the first Batman ever from Hot Toys that I've been able to get him in this sort of pose with this sort of legs sort of spread like that, like in the Arkham games or whatever, and just have him with his Batarang up like that and just have him, you know, about to throw down. Um, just throw his Batarang like in the film, like that scene where he's just about to turn and he's... Uh, you know, about to throw it at that guy, friggin' hit him hard. And I thought I'd put this mouth in because it's just like, you know, in the moment sort of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, the gauntlet things with this as well is not much of a problem when I'm popping in and out. So that's a good thing as well for people who, who are wondering. And yeah, so really happy with this. Just awesome pose. I mean, just uh, bring you out there. I mean, just look at that. Love it, love it, love it. When well, you can put a Batman figure in that pose, you know it's, you know it's an awesome figure. Yeah, just yeah. All right, and we'll get another pose in there. Okay, and here is the pose. I think I'll probably this will be the. Final pose for this video. I will. I, what I'll do is afterwards, I'll do a video with different poses of these figures sometime in the future. And just, you know, when you got a little bit more time on a, on my hands, you know. But uh, I thought I'd do this one because it's awesome. You know, uh, I mean, look at that. The main, you know, range of motion in there is just. Awesome. 
and I've put the uh, thing in there so it looks like it's just shooting out about to go and yeah it's pretty awesome Yeah, absolutely love this figure. And if you take that out, I'll take this out of here, you can sort of have him like that. Let's get him in one more, eh? Four. There we go. You can have him like that. Or. Oh. <laughs> There we go, bring his muscles down. And tuck this in, there we go. Just have him in a more natural looking pose. Sort of, uh... slightly turned to the side and we'll bend this arm back a bit twist that and got that in there maybe maybe give him a slight bend in the arm and there you go got him looking up maybe he's about to talk to somebody Let's keep it nice and natural. I think the pose I'm going for there, I like that Badarang one that I did earlier. That was, I thought, that might be a nice pose for having him in. But yeah. So anyway, uh, I think we'll wrap it up and leave it at that. Um, just to sum it up for me personally, I, I this is my favourite of the three. I love them all. And... Yeah, just absolutely awesome. But I'll uh, yeah, I'll probably do a video later on with maybe some more poses from this figure, and also uh, you know just show uh, maybe do one with them all together when the collections like their collection setups all done and dusted. Uh, hopefully, all being well. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hope, again, I'll just say it again anyway. Hope you have a ha nice and happy Halloween. Uh, hope you don't eat too much uh, candy or anything like that and uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but definitely have plenty, of course. You know, it is Halloween. But yeah, uh, anyway, hope you have a good one. Uh, keep a lookout for the chats in the future as well. Me and Rob at some point will be back. I think it's just depending on when we can get back to it. But yeah. Anyway, have a good one, guys. And I hope you're doing well. And I'll catch you later. Cheers.